Welcome to Providence Women and Children's Pavilion. My name is Shanna Van Horn, co-manager for the Family Maternity Center and Maternal Fetal Medicine. There's nothing more miraculous than the birth of your baby. And here at Providence Regional Medical Center Everett, we are committed to the health and wellness of you and your baby. We strive to make this miracle a family-centered event as we partner with you in your birth experience. Providence offers comprehensive services and many care options for families having babies, including obstetricians, certified nurse midwives, a centering program, family practice providers, birth and family education, specialists in maternal fetal medicine, and a neonatal intensive care unit staffed by Seattle Children's providers. Our family-centered approach to care provides a nurturing environment for growing families and is designed to ensure that we are providing the safest care and environment for you and your newborn. We want you to be as prepared as possible for your upcoming birth. Seeing where you arrive and where you may deliver will alleviate any stress you may be feeling as a new parent. So take a tour with me as we show you where to park, how to get to the birth center, and what a birthing suite looks like. You will also learn about the amenities and resources that are available to you at the Pavilion for Women and Children. When you think you're in labor, the first step is to call your provider. This is very important no matter what time, day or night. Your doctor or midwife will contact the birth center staff to let us know you're coming. This allows our medical team time to prepare for your arrival. When you arrive at the pavilion, use a main entrance located at 900 Pacific Avenue in Everett. The pavilion is open 24 hours a day. During the day, we offer valet parking. Street parking is also an option. There is paid parking garage off Nassau Street and paid parking off Pacific Street as well. Please check in at the security desk just inside the entrance to the building. Bring photo ID with you. Once through the screening desk, take the elevator up to the fourth floor to the OB triage desk. Tell the front desk caregiver and or nurse what you are here to be seen for. If your medical provider has scheduled you to be induced, or if you're here for a scheduled cesarean, you'll wait in our waiting area for your nurse to come and escort you to your birthing suite. OB triage is the first stop for most families and has seven beds for evaluation. If you are in labor, our team will assess the progress of your labor and monitor your baby using an electronic fetal monitor. This machine uses two sensors strapped to your stomach to track your baby's heart rate and evaluates the frequency and intensity of your contractions. Depending on your labor's progress or assessment findings, you will be moved to a patient room for admission, monitoring, or sent home with a detailed follow-up plan. Due to the limited space and triage, and for privacy reasons, we ask that only one support person accompany you during this phase of your care. Our comfortable rooms for labor and delivery are designed to provide a calm environment. We have compassionate, award-winning staff and the latest in delivery and monitoring technology. Each birthing suite has a private bathroom with soaking tub and shower. A rocking chair can be requested. The birthing bed can be moved into different positions. A squatting bar can be attached if you'd like one. At your request, we are happy to provide you with a birthing ball, a birthing peanut ball, or hot and cold compresses. For labor management, FNC offers lavender aromatherapy and or pain medication. Nitrous oxide is also available upon request. If you would like an epidural for your birth, anesthesia providers are available 24 hours a day. If you have a birth plan that you've discussed with your healthcare provider, you should share it with the nursing staff at this time. For your media needs, each room has a TV and free Wi-Fi access. We welcome your family and support people to be part of your birth experience. If there's a need for a cesarean birth, you'll be taken into one of the operating room suites for the surgery. As long as you are awake for the surgery, you may bring one support person in addition to your doula if needed into the operating room. When you leave the operating room, 
You and your baby will be taken to the recovery room to be monitored before you move to a postpartum room for the remainder of your stay. Family Maternity Center promotes couplet care involving skin-to-skin, -skin, delayed cord clamping, early breastfeeding, and bonding between parents and their newborn. Whether you deliver vaginally or by cesarean section, we believe that all healthy newborns should be skin-to-skin -skin in the first hours of life to promote an early transition from the womb, enhance mom and baby communication, and provide temperature stabilization of your baby. If your baby is born full term and medically stable, the baby will be placed immediately on your belly or chest, skin to skin, for the first hour of birth or through the first feeding. The first feeding usually occurs 30 to 60 minutes after delivery with the help of your nurse. Usually after your baby's first feeding, it will be time to weigh and measure your baby. Your nurse will place your baby on a newborn warmer and complete an assessment. We support all feeding preferences. PRMCE have nurses and lactation consultants available to provide you with the support you need to establish and promote exclusive breastfeeding, adequate milk supply, and to identify and correct any issues or barriers to breastfeeding success. After discharge from the hospital, you have access to lactation services, consultation, and follow-up through the Providence Postpartum Outpatient Clinic. If your baby needs specialized care, the medical team from our Level 3 Neonatal Intensive Care Unit will attend your delivery or be available to provide medical care once your baby arrives. The NICU is located directly below the birth center on the second floor of the pavilion. The NICU is staffed with nationally recognized neonatologists, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, and highly trained nurses who will provide your baby with excellent care. Once in postpartum, you will generally spend 24 hours recovering in the hospital if you had a vaginal birth and 48 hours if you had a cesarean birth. Each postpartum room is equipped with a postpartum bed, a bassinet for your baby, and a couch for your support person. Discharge education is located on the iPad in each patient care room. These tablets also provide information about your stay, resources available, and entertainment options. To be discharged home in a timely manner, we ask that you complete the required discharge education, as well as the birth information paperwork. You can complete these early in your stay. We have 24-hour access to housekeeping, social services, and security. Newborns are monitored by an infant security system until discharge. We offer room service with a menu that features a variety of healthy items that can be ordered and delivered to your room. Specialized diet menus are also available. Support persons and guests are welcome to visit the cafeteria or the bistro for a variety of breakfast, lunch, and dinner items, as well as a full service espresso bar. Visiting hours in the hospital are generally 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. All visitors are required to have a photo ID and will receive a brief health screen. We encourage you to have one support person stay overnight with you in your room. Due to space limitations, we cannot accommodate additional family members and children are not permitted to stay overnight. Family Maternity Center offers two large waiting areas to accommodate family and friends during the labor and delivery process. Guest Wi-Fi and TV are provided for those supporting the laboring patient. It is Washington state law that if your baby is traveling in a vehicle, your baby must be in a car seat. We recommend you practice installing your car seat before you arrive at the hospital for labor and that you also get it inspected by a certified car seat technician to ensure your car seat is installed safely. Let me tell you about a few resources that Providence offers to help you adjust to life as a new family. Providence contracts with perinatologists to consult on any high-risk pregnancy. Refer to the clinic by their providers. The Maternal Fetal Medicine Clinic combines advanced technology and specialty trained healthcare professionals who work with your primary provider to provide specialized care. Birth and Family Education has many classes for parents and other family members. You can find information about classes on our website at providence.org or by calling 844-992-1251. First-time parents find it helpful to take classes in childbirth preparation, 
newborn care, and breastfeeding. Infant safety and CPR classes are great for you or anyone who will be taking care of your baby. While you're transitioning into parenthood, don't forget about your mental well-being too. Perinatal mood and anxiety disorders are amongst the most common complications of childbirth. A Providence provider can help you feel like yourself and enjoy time with your new baby. I hope this tour has given you a glimpse of our facilities, amenities, medical expertise, and resources that make this miraculous time of life both safe and special. Providence Regional Medical Center Everett is recognized with the Labor and Delivery Excellence Award for Superior Care of Women During and After Childbirth through HealthGrade's 2017 Top Performing Hospital in Women's Care. All of us at the Pavilion for Women and Children look forward to caring for you and your family. Thank you for joining me on this tour. We hope you feel more informed about what to expect at your next visit. Thank you.